Hey there, truck friends. Lamont from Truck Guys here, checking in for a electric vehicle and wind update. So starting off with Tesla here, our big dog, the biggest player in the sector. We've just been watching this daily EQ for a long time, and I've actually gotten some messages about concern for bullish correlation with QQQ. And while the intraday correlation for sure was bearish because QQQ had this big breakout day, and held above its base. I just want to point out that you you have you kind of have to consider correlation across more than just one day. I mean, of course, there is intraday correlation, but if you look at what QQQ has done and Tesla has done comparative to their high volume, their previous high volume areas, this congestion zone, right, over here, what Tesla has done is it broke over the congestion zone, came back, back tested it, held it as support, and then uh, made a big move up, back tested again, didn't even come down and test it, and now is. You know, near the upper area of its daily EQ, whereas QQQ, what it did with its previous congestion zone is it broke into it. Broke into it, got one, two closes within it, and then finally broke out and left its base recently. So uh, I, would, I don't know if I would say it is a bearish correlation on the macro charts. If anything, I would say that it's a bullish correlation on the macro charts because while QQQ was doing this and getting more downside, Tesla was up here printing an EQ. So it's almost as if Tesla was already up here waiting for QQQ to catch up. So I wouldn't be surprised, for example, if now QQQ were to pull back to look for this daily higher low, if Tesla were to see some relatively contained daily consolidation to pull back and look for a daily higher low over 406.05. So that really is the next uh, bullish trade. I don't, I don't know how much I love it. I mean, it, you do the the bulls are definitely in favor in the sense that these higher lows are further away from the bottom of the EQ, and these lower highs that are printing are are near the top, right? So if you just cut this EQ in half, you can see that most of the price action, at least recently, most of the price action uh, is staying above the fifty percent range, right? So the EQ has a slight bull bias, okay. So that being said, um, let's see, on the, on the daily time frame, we're just looking for this to tighten up a little bit. It can get a little bit tighter on the hourly time frame. Let's see what happens. So we had this nice double top rejection today, rejected from this top, I, hourly, over, hourly conditions and five minute conditions were overbought. So a nice top fish. Actually, I think Sam called this out. Would have been a really good play. Don't know if you took it, but great call out, Sam. However, we were just looking for an hourly higher low, and so the 12 EMA, not a bad target for that. This is not so much pullback that we would be very confident in an hourly lower high, but especially because we only had one red bar. If we had two or three red bars, we'd be a lot more confident in a potential low, hourly lower high being set. But as of right now, it's kind of in the air. There is enough space for bears to position, but ideally they would have made a, a bit more range. So uh, what are we looking out for tomorrow? We're looking out for this hourly higher low to be confirmed. And in order for that to be the case, we need to see a five minute trend change back to the bulls, which has not occurred. It has occurred in after hours. And we'll just want to see that confirmation, some follow through, even ideally some follow through uh, during regular trading hours and in pre-market. Okay. So that's pretty much all we care about tomorrow. Tomorrow, ideally we'll see, for if you're a bull, ideally we will see this low of... 441 hold and then break to new highs over 448.74 to potentially break out of this daily EQ. Bullish. And if we were to break out of this daily EQ, then ideally we'll break this 440, 448.88 resistance and this 455.68 resistance at the same time. Ideally, we'll get all three. We'll get this one as well, 461.94. Um, but at, the, at a bare minimum, we'd like to see this break at least get enough momentum to break two of these resistances here to have us thinking, okay, well, the potential for a daily EQ is much more likely. If we were just to break one resistance here and then reject from this one, we would just anticipate more of a tightening range. Okay, let's see here. Moving on to NEO. Okay, nice trade highlighted during live. Uh, let's see, would have played, oh, it still hasn't played out completely, but little trade highlighted off of live, just using this previous channel, which I suppose could be redrawn now. But uh, during, you know, prior to that, this channel was offering good structure, and then when it broke out and came back, I just highlighted that as a potential backtest trade, I believe on this day, it was on this day. <clears throat> anyway. On the daily time frame, we're still in this little consolidation pattern, this little flaggy kind of pattern right above these previous tops. Not positioned very well. Bulls are positioned very well. If QQQ and Tesla were to see a breakout, then the NEO bulls are positioned better than Tesla because Tesla is still in this daily EQ, whereas NEO has already broke over and is maintaining over these tops. 
on the early time frame, we just have this EQ, this more of this sideways uh, pattern. And let's see, did we get a bearish trend change? We The bears have been unable to take back the trend. So we have this big bearish move here. We set an hourly lower high, but the bulls held to make an hourly higher low. They made another lower high, then made a higher low, and then changed the trend bullish. So tomorrow, ideal situation for bulls would be to either break to more highs, over 2195 and then pull back for a healthy hourly higher low over 2162 and then break to new highs to potentially see some continuation on the daily time frame. That being said, I wouldn't be surprised if this EQ were to just continue to tighten up a little bit. All right, just tighten up a little bit before a break, maybe two or three trading days in the future. On the five minute time frame for NEO, did we change the trend going into the end of day? We did. We did change this trend going into the end of the day, so we can be pretty confident that this hourly higher low has been set. So bears will just be looking to top fish these resistances of 2220 should the bulls open strong tomorrow. There's actually more than those tops. There's a bunch of tops here. So you just want to operate with kind of a zone, a zone of resistance, right? And ideally, if we're looking for a daily top, we'll have hourly oversold condition, over, hourly overbought conditions. So for a bear, ideally, the bulls will open up strong right out the gate. Don't consolidate at all. Get into this zone. Get extended another five minute. Get extended another hourly, and then bears will be much more comfortable top fishing NIO. At this point, too, if we were to pull back, the bulls would just be looking for a higher low over twenty sixty. Although there's not a terrible amount of range to do so. But looking for this EQ to tighten, this little flag pen information to tighten on the daily time frame is not a bad look. So if you were a bull, if you wanted to bottom fish these supports, ideally you'd get hourly oversold conditions down here. Yes, so we'd be potentially maybe testing this previous median line. Not a bad place. Essentially you'd be bottom fishing these supports looking for another daily low to get put in. NKLA. Don't know what this is about. Alrighty, on NKLA, NKLA on the daily time frame. So we got this bounce. The bears have yet to see any follow through on the hourly trend change. I think there's an hourly trend change. Okay. Whenever the well, actually, right now we are looking for a daily higher low over seventeen fifty one in order for us to be confident that this daily high has been set. We just want to see if the hourly trend has changed to the bears, and it has changed to the bears. Very controlled right now. You can tell it's very similar to the Neo and the and the Tesla charts. They're just in these hourly EQs, waiting for the leaders, I guess, to make a move, and then NKLA will likely make a, a correlated move. So let's see. Right now, this kind of stands out to me. This channel, this potential channel here is interesting to me. If we were to come down to the lower end of this channel, test most all of these bottoms down here with hourly oversold conditions, not a bad place to be looking for some aggressive bullish entries. Five minute EQ into the end of the day, grinding this potential channel resistance right here. I would not be surprised. Would not be surprised if we saw lower to test these ranges down here. And even if we were to get down there, if the bulls were to hold hold this level here, it would be a very, very healthy daily higher low over 1751. All right, moving on to the wind sector. Wind ETF got this green two over a green one. If you're a TD purist, you would have been triggered into this trade here as an extension trade. But let's check out the hourly time frame. Any signs of consolidation? There is not any signs of consolidation. So the bears got this trend change here. Saw no follow through straight into a bounce. The bulls changed the trend right back. I'll mark it off for you in case it's not clear. So we have this high, we have this hourly low, we have this hourly lower high. We break to a lower low, straight into a bounce, print a higher low, break to higher highs. And now this it's looking like that daily low is potentially set. I don't even know if we pull back enough to we did. We did pull back just a wee bit, so we can be pretty confident that that high low is now set. And bears, if bears are looking to position, ideally you'll be patient. You'll wait for an hourly move large enough to anticipate a lower high. So let's say we were to dump from here, big old dump. That's enough range that we would anticipate a lower high, and a lower high could print down to become a lower low as well, thereby changing the hourly trend and having us confident that this daily top is set. No sign of that happening as of yet. Five minute time frame going into the end of the day. Super choppy. There's really no volume on this. I'm not even going to bother charting it below the hourly time frame. Now, the biggest name in the wind sector is NEE. NEE on the daily time frame broke to new highs, 
yet again today. I believe it's all-time high. Yes, it is an all-time high bull. The daily trend is still super, super healthy. We have yet to pull back enough to be anticipating a daily higher low. And whenever we do, we will just be looking for anything over 267.14 to be a healthy daily higher low. So what are we going to be looking for? We ideally, we'll do our shopping in hourly oversold conditions. We can see this is our key daily low, and our hourly oversold conditions would be over here. It sure seems like it would line up with a 50 retracement or so. So relatively speaking, let's see where the last daily volume was put in. So to me, these tops are very meaningful. These tops where price rejected two times, could not get over it broke over once, rejected back down, and now finally they're seeing some follow through. So if we were to come back and test these previous closes, I would be very interested, especially now I know that 50% retrace is right around where hourly would be oversold. So right around 288, not a bad place to start looking for a potential daily higher low to be put in. In order for us to start scouting for that higher low, we just need to see the hourly trend change to the bears. We wanna see a big hourly move down, lower high, lower low, and then we'll be looking for this potential daily higher low in hourly oversold conditions. Five minute time frame going into the end of the day, it is bearish. And so we can be pretty confident that this, this hourly high is set, this local hourly high is set, and now it's all about follow through. Can the bear see more follow through, break to lower lows below 304.92 and make enough space to potentially position for an hourly lower high? Right now, there's not that much room yet to do so. So patience for bears, patience for bulls, patience for everybody. That's it. That covers everybody. And so thanks for tuning in. Have a good night and I will see you tomorrow.